Hello everyone, Dr. B here with another video for GrowGreenToGrow.com. In this video, we'll go over a typical garden pest known as thrips. This video will be broken down into three main sections. In chapter one, we'll go over the general information on thrips. Chapter two, we'll identify them, both the physical appearance and the damage they leave on leaves. And in chapter three, we'll go over the prevention and cures. Before we look into the typical thrip pest, it is important to know that there are over 5,000 known species of thrips. Not all thrips should be treated the same way. Some species of thrips are actually considered beneficial, eating mites, other thrips, fungus spores, and other rotting material. However, a typical thrip found in an indoor garden is usually a pest. Many species of thrips are considered vectors, an insect that transmits viruses and diseases to plants. Some species of thrips are known to carry over 20 different diseases to plants. Thrips have a metamorphosis that is intermediate between complete and gradual. Last instar larvae change greatly in appearance, and they are often called pupae, even though thrips do not have a true pupal stage. Thrips will usually lay their eggs inside leaf tissue until hatching into larvae, then spending the rest of their time in the soil until emerging into adults. Thrips will vary in color, ranging from translucent white, brown, yellow, or black. They are usually between 0.5 mm and 5 mm in length depending on the species and life stage. Because of their tiny appearance, thrip damage is often seen before the thrips themselves. This is also due to their uncanny ability to hide and quickly move when underprovoked. Most thrip species have the ability to jump, and some develop wings in the adult stage, allowing them to easily travel from plant to plant. Furthermore, thrips can be found anywhere from on top or underneath the leaves, on stems, or even in the soil. Thrip damage looks very similar to leaf damage made that of spider mites, with a slight variance that spider mites usually leave tiny silver speckles, whereas thrips will usually leave what appears to be gray trails. To add insult to injury, thrip damage is usually accompanied by black speckles. More often times than not, these are thrip feces. There are many natural remedies and organic products on the market suitable for dealing with thrips. However, the most important part in dealing with thrips is trying not to get them in the first place. There are many precautions you can take to achieve this. This includes sterilizing your growing containers, Keep in a clean growing environment and free of plant debris, not trading clones with friends, and not using bad soil. A bad source of soil or using outside soil is a surefire way to get through thrips or other harmful pathogens or insects. Always remove dead leaves from your growing area and especially remove dead leaves from your plants. If you get a thrip infestation, there are a few things you should know first. It's important to know that you must treat both the leaves and the soil at the same time. Use an Azimax as a standalone root drench or a combination of sand and cinnamon as a top dressing is a good way to handle thrips in the soil. When spraying the leaves, there are a few safe products you could use. I recommend using Growers Trust Spider Mite Killer as it is all organic and safe to use at any time. Mighty Wash is also a great substitute. If you are on a budget, tobacco juice, alcohol, or soap sprays will kill most thrips on contact. If using 99% isopropyl alcohol, dilute it with water at a 5 to 1 ratio. If using 50 to 70 percent isopropyl alcohol, use a 3 to 1 dilution rate. If using dish soap, use a di teaspoon of soap for one quart of water. Try to avoid using these during the flowering stage as it will break down and dissolve trichomes. When using any commercial sprays, keep in mind that you must repeat applications and to successfully get rid of any infestation. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me or leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, until next video, as always, keep it green.